assalamu alaikum and very good morning my dear students i hope that you all are fine and doing well i welcome you all in another google classroom students in our previous lesson uh, we have started the new topic unit number 10 inventions and discoveries and we have discussed some inventions so in our today's lesson we are going to read textbook pages 99 half till 102 half and we'll discuss some more inventions so let's start our lesson for prior knowledge i am going to ask some questions from you question is what did people use for transport before they had cars name two ways i hope that you must know the answer of this question but anyways i am going to tell the answer people used horse uh, carriages and uh, animal carts uh, for transport before the cars were invented uh, next question is name as many inventions as you can that use electricity very interesting students you can see that in your in our daily life we use almost all the things that use electricity for example television telephone mobile uh, mobile phones uh, computers iron washing machines microwave oven electric kettles and some stoves also use uh, electricity so there are so many things that use electricity which we use in our daily life so let's have a look on learning objectives students at the end of the lesson you people will be able to establish how and when car was invented find out about the first cars and how cars have changed over time so you should be able to know more about the invention of the cars by watching a video link is mentioned here so you can watch this video you should also be able to explain how and when the first camera was invented you should also be able to describe how the first cameras worked you should also be able to explain the terms centuries and bce my dear students following are the main points of today's topic so let's discuss the first petrol car was made by karl benz a german engineer in america henry ford made a car with pedals for driving it he used a production line to build cars which means nobody built a whole car many people made various parts for it light reflects from objects in front of the camera it goes through the lens and into the camera there it forms an upside down picture of the object in 1885 george eastman used a type of plastic to make make a film to use instead of a piece of metal back to front pictures stayed on a film which could be printed on a special paper he started kodak camera company century is a period of 100 years bce is a c common era bce and cer alternative to bc and ad system first century bce is numbered up to 99 my dear students these transports were used before the cars you know that for thousands of years people have made carts they used animals to pull them at that time people used carts horse drawn carriages rickshaws etc which were pulled or carried by animals or people in the 19th century they used steam engines to drive the wheels a, a big boiler heated the water until it turned to steam it burned a lot of coal or wood trains also also the trains powered by steam were used at that time but this it was very difficult because a steam engine needed a lot of coal or other fuel 
At the end of the 19th century, they made engines that burned petrol. So the first to make petrol cars was a German engineer called Karl Benz. He made a three-wheeled car called the motor wagon in 1888. So he op in 1888 he opened a first car factory in Germany. It later became Mercedes Benz. The first cars looked like carts with engines. By the 20th century there were car factories all over the world. In America Henry Ford made a car with pedals for driving it. He used a production line to build cars quickly this meant that nobody built a whole car many people made different parts for it means to say that different people made different parts of a car which increased the speed of making a car it also made cars cheaper at first only rich people had cars Ford built the Model T. It was cheap so many more people could buy it. Car factories in the subcontinent. Mahindra and Mahindra of Mumbai opened the first car factory in the subcontinent in 1945. Before that cars were imported. This was the first car that Mahindra and Mahindra car company made in the subcontinent. In Pakistan, Adam Motor Companies were the first car manufacturers in Pakistan and they made the first car, the first model car Revo in Pakistan that is closed down. This company is closed down now. My dear students, another invention of the 19th century was the camera. So if you look at the front of a camera, you will see a tiny hole that opens to let in light through the lens. Light reflects from objects in front of the camera. It goes through the lens and uh, into the camera. There it forms an upside down picture image picture of the object. The first person we know about who made pictures like this was Mozi or Moti in the 5th century BCE in China. This is the camera, it is called camera obscura. Camera obscura means dark room in Latin language. It is a box shaped device used as an aid for drawing or entertainment. Also referred to a pinhole image, it lets light into a small opening on one side a project reversed and inverted image on the other. This is the first picture of the camera obscura. In the 10th century CE in Persia, now Iraq, the scientist Ibn al Hadam reflected light from the sun through a tiny hole. He looked at the sun this way without harming his eyes. He showed that the pupils of our eyes work like the lens of a camera. Ibn al Hadam, known in the West as al Hazan, invented camera obscura, the base for modern camera. He is also referred to as father of modern optics. Later scientists tried to keep the reflected pictures. In 1826, a French scientist kept a camera picture on a flat piece of metal painted with chemicals. Lenses got better and better as they were made with machines. So cameras could take clearer and clearer pictures. In 1885, George Eastman, an American, used a type of plastic to make a film to use instead of a piece of metal. Back to front pictures stayed on the film. They could be printed on special paper.
this man started the Kodak camera company. He made the brownie camera that was cheap enough for many people to buy. Before the advent of the digital camera, old cameras had to use film to record an image. The camera manipulated the properties of light to create an image on a piece of film called negative. Then the negative went through a chemical process to create the end picture. In 1975, Kodak engineer Steve Sasson created the first ever digital camera. It was built using parts of kits and left around the Kodak fa factory. The camera was about the size of a bread box and it took 23 seconds to capture a single image. So dear students, it was the story of the invention of the camera that was started from the camera obscura till the digital cameras. Now we can see a variety of digital cameras and the DSLR cameras in the market and in our surroundings and uh, very tiny cameras in our mobile phones. The evolution of cameras, the students you can see the old cameras, very old cameras and the modern cameras here in this picture. This is the camera Lucida. This camera is an optical device used as a drawing aid by artists and microscopists. This is camera obscura. It was called the camera obscura. It means the dark room and the word camera came from this. And folding, folding bed camera, it was used to shoot the fil film. Flash bulb camera, it had a big light as a flashlight on the camera. This is also a camera film and uh, the objects were on the negative and later the negative. Uh, fr through the negative we can, uh, we, can, we could get the real picture instant camera so in this camera you can see the picture at that at the same time you can get the picture or the image so digital cameras you have seen all the digital cameras in your uh, age dsl dslr cameras and camera phones now the you know, mobile phones have very latest cameras so this journey was started from 1500, like 16th century till 2020 or 21. Okay, my dear students, it's, it's time to ask plenary questions. So for plenary, I am going to ask these questions. Question is, who made the brownie camera? We, as you uh, know that we have discussed in the lesson. Next question is, who was Carl Banz and when did he open a car factory? So, dear students, this is about the plenary. I hope that you would be able to answer of these questions orally. So, this is the homework. And uh, as uh, per routine, I have already discussed for many times, as I have told you for many times, that be serious about the homeworks that your uh, assessments are going to be start uh, after each so be serious about the homeworks because uh, your homeworks will carry marks in the in your final result so today's homework is read textbook pages 99 half till 102 half plus complete exercise a of page number 100 and 102 on textbook exercise a on page number 100 and on page number 102 also there is also uh, exercise a so you have to do the both exercises on your textbook not in the notebook so students it was today's lesson with this 
this is the end of today's lesson so take very good care of yourself and people around you and stay safe and stay blessed have a good day and allah hafiz